Hi guys, it's me Yobi Programmer and in this video we will talk about how you can evaluate your model performance in the machine learning or deep learning. Uh, before that, I want you to know if you are working on any uh, custom projects related to machine learning, deep learning or uh, in general Python, right, Django, Flask, anything like that, you can contact me on the WhatsApp or email uh, to discuss about it or you can fill out this form also the link is in the description so that uh, you we can discuss about it okay so let's get started with the uh, video and the topic of today is how we can evaluate model performance so uh, you can see we have many projects uh, here uh, listed down but uh, for each one of them the performance matrix can be uh, different right uh, so uh, whenever you are uh, working on a project uh, you have to decide a performance metric uh, for that a particular project uh, there can be two type of projects mainly so one is regression regression and the other is classification in the machine learning there is clustering also there is uh, unsupervised learning also but uh, you can just uh, search about that but mainly two uh, problems we uh, solve in the uh, machine learning or deep learning regression and uh, classification and both of them has different metrics so you have to search about it uh, regression and classification metrics and if I can just write here example yeah I maybe probably get something about it okay great uh, so if you are working on a classification project uh, now let's see an example of classification project uh, we can take the example of credit card fraud detection uh, it will be one if the uh, fraud is happening zero if it's not happening uh, diabetes prediction uh, again same uh, binary classification problem there can be multi classif uh, class classification problem so all of them you can uh, evaluate the model performance from all of these metrics and the uh, way uh, you can uh, calculate them is uh, you can say different according to a framework you are using if you are sklearn you can just say uh, accuracy calculate sklearn so you will get something like this and you can see here uh, they have shown you how you can calculate the accuracy right and if you just see this I would say SKLN matrix you can get the same uh, list of that in SQLN uh, documentation also if you are working on PyTorch the uh, you can say method of finding it or calculating it can be different but the concept will be same so if you are working on a classification problem then you have all of these options to evaluate your model performance okay uh, so uh, many of clients are like uh, asking uh, what is my uh, accuracy for the model and they are working on the regression problem so there is no way you can find the accuracy uh, about a regression problem so that's the uh, like misconfusion I would say and uh, mainly because of uh, the accuracy meaning in the English language is like uh, performance right so how accurate is uh, your model is uh, we tend to like uh, use it for the regression also but uh, technically it's not the same for regression you have uh, the performance matrix as listed uh, this right R square uh, we mainly use that then MAE uh, which is absolute error mean squared error and RMSC these are uh, quite mainly used one and you can just uh, search them in here also in the yeah 
so for classification all of these are your metrics and you can just see how we can calculate them for the clustering you have these and for the regression you have these so now whenever uh, someone asks you uh, like how do you evaluate your model you have to tell uh, like i am working on a regression problem that's why i'm working uh, that's why i have selected r2 score for my uh, model performance uh, evaluation right and if you are working on classification then you can say i have uh, selected f1 i have selected uh, accuracy as the performance uh, metric right so this is the thing i wanted to talk about and you can just uh, if you are working on a project you can just reach out to me anytime i hope you like the video and it makes sense because uh, the main point of it was like uh, uh, clear the confusion about accuracy in the regression so there is no way you can find the accuracy in the regression uh, accuracy is for classification only for regression there are many other metrics you can find out okay uh, i hope i can conclude this video at this end and i will meet you in the next one thanks for watching